Can organs evolve? Perhaps a better question would be, can life evolve? When we look at the statistical possibility of a protein molecule coming into existence by chance, well, scientists have come to the conclusion that it's really statistically impossible. Think of the various organ systems that make up our bodies. For example, the circulatory system, the heart, the arteries that take the blood away from the heart to the capillaries, and then the veins which return the blood back to the heart, and then the pulmonary system which oxygenates the blood, or kidneys, or various other organs. How could these complete organ systems have come into existence by some natural process of chance and time over millions of years? A number of years ago, I had the opportunity to speak to a group of scientists and engineers in Moscow. Another scientist stood up. He said, I don't have the answer, but I have a suggestion. He said, in our midst today is Russia's most prominent evolutionist, Dr. Gao. Dr. Gao has written numerous books on the subject of evolution. Dr. Gao, do you have an explanation? He stood to his feet and shaking as he was hanging on to two canes, he said, all of my life I have considered these kinds of questions and these problems, but I will have to admit, to date, I still do not have any answers. But you see, there are no answers to the explanation of the complexity of organ systems or reproduction or any other biological system. If we look at it from a Darwinian perspective, that gradual changes over hundreds of millions of years have brought all of this complexity into being. The most reasonable explanation is that in the beginning there was a creator and there was a creation. And life was brought on the scene in the beginning in multiplied, perfected forms with the ability to reproduce.